What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. So as you can see by the title of the video, I will be showing you guys how to achieve a full glam face on a budget. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, please keep on watching. So to clean my brows and prime my eyelids at the same time, I'm using this concealer. You can use any concealer you have. Um, I believe this is a NYX concealer. So I'm going to start off by using this shade right here as a transition shade. And I'm going to go in with my Makeup Shack T11 brush. I'm going to buff that shade into my crease and blend it out. Milani has some really nice eyeshadow palettes. If you guys want to check them out, you can find them at Ulta or any drugstore. So I'm just sweeping it back and forth into my crease and blending it outwards. Then I'm going to go in with this shade right here and further deepen out my crease starting from the outer corners. And I'm using a circular motions to blend that in in the outer corner. And then slowly dragging it towards the center of my crease. This brush I'm using is from Morphe. It is their M518 brush. And with that first brush that I used for the transition shade, I'm just going to go back in and blend everything out so there are no harsh lines. Now I'm going in with my Morphe M514 brush. It's a smaller fluffy brush and I'm gonna grab this shade right here to smoke out the outer corners. So blending it on the outer corners and then with whatever's left, just swooping it back and forth. Then I want to go back in with the darkest shade in this palette, which is the shade right here. Using that same brush, I'm just going to buff that in the outer corners just to smoke it out a little bit more. And I am still blending. <laughs> to cut my crease, I'll be using this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Light Sand.
Now I'm just gonna go back in with that deep plum shade. Run this little corner out. And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. So before I add my shimmer on my lid, I'm gonna use this NYX Glitter Glue. I'm just going to pat it all over my lid. So I think I'm gonna go in with this champagne shimmer and I'm going to go in with that same brush and I'm going to apply it in the inner corners just like so. So before I apply any of my face products, I am going to clean up the sides of my eyes with a Q-tip and some micellar water. So I'm going to do my lashes off camera, but I'll be using the Flutter Lash in the style 823. So before my foundation, I'm going to use this Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer in Bronze Glow. And I'm just applying it with this e.l.f. stippling brush. For foundation, I'll be using the L'Oreal True Match and I'll be mixing these two shades in N5.5 and N6.5. So let me just mix these two. So now I'm going to go in with this Morphe concealer and this Huda Beauty Conceal and Blend Face Brush and I'm going to use this end to apply my concealer. So with whatever's left on the brush, I'm just going to pat it down at the bridge of my nose. So with that Makeup Shack sponge, I'm just going to go in and further blend out that concealer and make sure that everything is flawless. So to set our face, I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to grab some powder on my sponge, and I'm going to push that in to my under eye area. Now I'm going to add some on this side. I forgot how much I loved the setting powder. The only thing is, I feel like the scent is like a little grandma-ish. Like, it's 
smells like like something your grandma would have used back in the days but it's okay I mean as long as the product works right like I guess the smell doesn't really matter so now that our face is set like that is not moving anytime soon I am in desperate need of some bronzer. For today's bronzer, I'm going to use this Milani bronzer in suntan, and it's a silky matte bronzer. Ooh, that's a really pretty bronzer. So this is my first time using this bronzer, and it is really, really pretty. We are getting somewhere with this look. Don't worry about the under eyes, they are still baking. A little bit on the tip of my nose. And to contour our nose, of course, I'm gonna use my Morphe M173 brush. And I'm gonna go in with that same bronzer. And I'm just going to apply that on the sides of my nose, starting from the top right here and dragging it down to the tip. And before we add any highlight, I wanna dust off any excess um, setting powder that's left. So I'm using this Milani All Over Blending Brush. It's a nice little fluffy brush. And I'm going to pat and dust away. Alright guys, so for highlighter, I'll be using another Milani product, which is this highlighter in Sun Glow. Before I apply my highlighter, let me add some blush. And today I'll be using the BH Cosmetics Glowing and Grease Palette. And I'll be using this shade right here in Mykonos. So for my highlighter, I'm going to use this brush from Morphe. It doesn't have a name or number on it. And we are just going to highlight the highest points of our face. I also like to add a little bit right here on the apples of my cheeks. So when I smile, it has that little glow right here. And the tip of my nose. And right here above my brow. I'm gonna go back in with a fluffy brush and you wanna just blend everything all together. So now I'm gonna finish off our eyes using that same palette. I'm going to use that darkest shade to smoke out the bottom lash line. For mascara, I'm using the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara and I'm just adding a few coats to my bottom lashes. And now I'm going in with this L'Oreal Infallible Brown Eye Pencil to tighten up my waterline. And of course, to line my lips, I'll be using the ColourPop BFF3 Lip Pencil and topping it off with their Moon Child Lip Gloss.
so I think we are done with our face. I'm going to go in with a Morphe Continuous Setting Mist and I'm just going to set our face. And that is all for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to achieve a very full glam face on a budget using only drugstore and very affordable makeup products. So if you guys did, please give me a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell so you guys don't miss any of my uploads. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys all in my next video. Bye-bye.